Okay, the last thing that we did in class today was we went over the difference between accumulating variable and counting variable. We have uh, done a little bit of notes on accumulating, accumulating variable, but I don't think we have on the counting variable. So we just want to make sure that we touch base on that. And so uh, the accumulating variable is used in a loop to track a running total. And this is important uh, that you understand this because this is going to help you contrast that with what a counting variable does. So it's used in a loop to track a running total. An exam the best example I can think of is in a game, a basketball game, where uh, each time through the loop of each time that they score. And so um, they, sometimes they'll score a one, so sometimes two pointer, and sometimes a three pointer. And so uh, Sometimes when you're using an accumulating variable, sometimes it accumulates more or at different amounts each time to the loop. Sometimes an accumulating variable could in increase or decrease the same uh, amount each time to the loop. So um, it just accumulates some kind of a, a running total. And so uh, then, let's see here. The running total is updated each time to the loop. And that's why it's important that you make sure this is inside the body of the loop. And so an example of this is in here. Where we have an accumulating variable, which is um, total value. It's a running total of, of the uh, value of the cards that are being picked. So the first time to the loop, they're told the user is told to pick a card. They enter the value of the card and then that card value gets added on to the accumulating variable. So every time through the loop, it adds on to it, goes to the loop again, add more onto it and so it keeps accumulating more and more and that's important to understand that it helps as far as coding goes very important so now let's look go back to our notes and um, see what else we were going to say so it's like a scoreboard which I've already mentioned um, here's a, just a template you have some uh, cum this is just kind of a shortcut for a variable name. So you have an, the accumulating variable is assigned the current value of that current of that um, running total or accumulating variable plus some other variable that's going to add to this one. So it's going to take the current value of it and add to it. The next time through the loop, it takes its current value, which will change, and then it adds to it. So maybe the the variable is assigned, you know, 10 at first. And then we add a 3 to it. So now it becomes 13. And so the next time through the loop, it's going to be 13 plus whatever uh, is going to be added. Let's say it adds a 7. Well, so now it's 20. It keeps accumulating more. And maybe the next number to add to it is 5. So now it's 25. So that's an accumulating variable. Each time through the loop, um, it gets increased or decreased um, in that loop. All right, then we go to a counting variable. Now, the the thing about a counting variable is two things to understand about this to make sure that you understand what a counting variable does. Number one, increments by one. So if if any time you count something, you're going one, two, three, four. You're not going two, four, six, eight. Uh, so you increment by one. You add one each time through the loop. Now the thing is that you could add, you could increment once each time to the loop and it'd be an accumulating variable. And that's why we need the next line and that is what is the purpose of a counting variable? The purpose is to keep track of the number of occurrences of an event. It keeps track of the number of occurrences of an event. So let's say that you have a volleyball game and the score and you have the score, which we typically say is accumulating variable. But when you play volleyball, you only ever add one point. So the first time it 
you know, they score it's one, and then now they have two, and now they have three, and now they have four. But the purpose of this is to keep track of a running total. So this is still an accumulating variable. This isn't this isn't keeping track of the number of occurrences. Okay, so um, it, it just doesn't make sense. So this is a running total still. But anyways, if the purpose of the variable is to keep track of the number of occurrences, then it is an accounting variable. It's a counting variable. And so uh, here is an example um, again. And so in this one example, you have the num of cards. And so um, it starts at zero. And so the first time to the loop, the um, user is asked to pick a card. And so because they asked to pick a part card, then we increment num of cards by one. So now that's they've picked one card. The next time through the loop, they pick another card. Well, now they've now they've hit. Now they we increment this so that we can say now they've picked two cards. It's keeping track of the number of times of the occurrences of an event, and the event in this case is picking a card. And so every time you go through the loop, it's just it's another card picked. And so that is what's going on there. Now just. Uh, we'll look at one more thing and then we're done. And so this um, last thing to look at is a scoreboard. Well, in this scoreboard, you have the accumulating variables are here because it's keeping track of the running score. Now, this um, one, this one right here, though, is a counting variable because this keeps track of the number of occurrences of an event. Well, the event is a foul by that team, by the home team. So every time the, the team, that team um, incurs a foul, then this increases by one. So this, um, in a sense, we've gone through the loop eight times here, They've scored, they have incurred eight fouls. It's keeping track of the number of occurrences this is keeping track of a running total. And so that's basically um, how that works. And so that's it for this one.